What's up, little bros? You got Big Bro here. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like the gems and shoes I'm dropping to you. I know I said I was not going to make another video until I was relaxing in the sun in Aruba, but I can't sleep and I had to make this video on January the 7th, 2023 because we don't sleep on this channel and I can't sleep because there's been so many lies told to you by the black YouTube influencers up here who think they know money, but they do not know money because they never had any money and they can't show you they have money. Now, a lot of your YouTube influencers, they made videos on the stock market rallies on job reports, job reports. Oh, the stock market went up. Jerome Powell does not want the stock market going up. Jerome Powell does not like jobs being created. Remember something. Jerome Powell wants to eliminate jobs. He wants to eliminate jobs. He likes recessions. Remember, the more jobs, more spending. Remember what he said. He wants to cool inflation. So why would he want jobs? Uh, you know, all the jobs going up. He wants to cool that down. In my opinion, he's going to keep raising interest rates. Now, here's the thing. That shouldn't even matter to you. Real investors don't even worry about interest rates because we don't have no debt. Now, here's, I'm going to break it down to you on why these YouTube influencers have no clue of what they're talking about when they're making their videos about job reports. Now, here was a headline on Thursday when the stock market went down on Thursday on job reports, okay? The same job reports, the stock market surged the next day. This is why you don't wanna watch the news. Benjamin Graham said something. He said, if you're not selling your house, do you check the value of your house every day? So why would you check your portfolio if you're not selling, if that's your long-term plan? Now, a lot of your YouTube influencers don't understand. It did not rally because of the job reports. It may go up, maybe that was 20 to 25% of it. It went up because it's a new year and people who invest are now able to invest in their Roth IRAs and everyone's piling into their Roth IRAs and buying stocks and mutual funds and index funds that they've been looking to buy and plotting on since the, the new year. Now, I know I did it. I jumped into the market. I put everything I wanted to buy. I bought it in one day and that's it. I'm not going to look at it. Okay. I'm no, I, I'm, I'm just not going to look at it because just like I said, my dividend portfolios are in Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab does not automatically uh, buy my stocks for me. So I jumped in, bought the dividend stocks I wanted. Um, I, you know, I, I bought the dividend ETFs. I made a video on that. The only stocks I keep in my Roth IRA are Apple, Microsoft, uh, VYM, that's from Vanguard, um, uh, SCHD, and VNQ. That's the only thing I keep in my Roth IRA. I'm not going to go log in every month and buy them individually. No, I bought them all and that's it. Set it, forget it. That way the compound interest is there and that way... Uh, I have the maximum amount of shares and they'll drip at the maximum amount when it's time to buy more. Now, that's why the stock market rallied on Friday and it's probably going to rally a little bit longer, but then you'll see it'll start to trickle back down because people have a lot of credit card debt. You have a lot of Americans with credit card debt paying high interest on it and they overspent for Christmas and they're going to deal with that and they're not going to be able to invest as much. Now, you have a lot of YouTube influencers that they want to talk about $5 a day dollar cost averaging. $5 a day is a start, but it's only $150 a month. It's how much you invest that will get you there. So many YouTube influencers want to promise you you'll get to the promised land and we want to open up different avenues because it's our turn to start investing. Investing just ain't going to get you there. It's the amount you put in there and the time you put it in for. Now, I've always said that. Here we go. $5 a day is only $150 a month because some months have 31 days and some months have 28, some have 20, but the average, let's go with 30, that's $150 a month. $150 a month at the S&P average. Now remember, 97% of your day traders cannot beat the S&P 500. So I'm doing the S&P 500. Some years you're gonna yield 20%, some you're gonna get negative 15, but some people say the average after taxes is between like six and 10%, I'm gonna go with eight. $150 at 8%, it would take you 50 years to get $1,032,786, 50 years. 
Now, let's just say you paid off that Hellcat, BMW, Mercedes, Jaguar, whatever car, Toyota Corolla, whatever car payment you got, you paid off credit card debt. Let's just say you're paying $1,000 a month car payment and credit card uh, the debt a, a month. Let's just say you freed up $1,000 at 8%. It would only take you 27 years to get to $1,048,209. You just shaved off almost 25 years just by just by eliminating that thousand dollars and putting it in the s p 500. now we're going to take my scenario between my ram 1500 and that shelby if i would have had payments on both those trucks now this is starting from zero say i had nothing i would have been paying 1660 dollars a month to drive cars just to drive cars now i paid them off I'm 42 now at 8% in 21 years, starting from zero, I would be worth $1,004,425. Do you see how important, how important it is to pay off debt? So people could tell you whatever they want with these little cute challenges with dollar a day, $5 a day. It's the amount of money you put in, you free up, and the amount of money that you keep going and you keep dollar cost averaging. All these challenges are cute. They're cute. But just imagine if you could free money up with stop doing Discord scratch offs. Just imagine where you can cut corners where you're not eating out as much. Just imagine if you paid off those cars. Just imagine if you paid off that credit card debt. And then not only, not only can you be set for your future, you could start living more, paying in cash now for things, enjoying life, and still know you're set for the future because you you made that a bill. You say, yo, $1,000 a month is a bill. I need $1,000. I was paying it on my credit card. I was paying on my cars. Nah, I need this $1,000 for the S&P every month. And in 25 years, I'm, you know, I'm 25. See, I'm jealous of all you young cats out there. If you 20 years old, if you 20 years old, you could be worth a million dollars by the time you're 47. So I, I see 20 year olds on YouTube with thousand dollar car payments. And I'm like, yo, by the age 47, you could be worth a million dollars by the time you 57. Yo, you're talking three million. So no regrets. It's the last video I'm going to make. Okay, I promise. L last video I'm going to make. The next video, I'll be in the sun. Get it. Have a wonderful week.